If there's one single event that could single-handedly wipe out humans, it's that of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Yellowstone National Park is home to some of the most breathtaking views. According to the National Park Service, Yellowstone National Park is the second most visited national park in the United States, with the first being the Great Smoky Mountains. Last year, approximately 3.8 million visitors went to the park, with that number being much lower than the previous year. However, this is thought to be because of everything that's been happening recently. There's one attraction at the park though that brings in many visitors, and this is the supervolcano that lurks beneath the park. It's arguably the most famous supervolcano, and the one that's received the most media attention, and for good reason. This supervolcano has had at least three very large eruptions, being 2.1 million years ago and 640,000 years ago, while the other one happened 3 million years ago, but was said to have been not as bad as the other two. The most recent news is that yesterday a surge of magma was detected coming into the Yellowstone system, mainly at Yellowstone Lake. UNAVCO.org, who are made up of scientists, educators and professionals, released a spectrogram which showed a surge of magma. The red shows the heat of the magma, with the blue surroundings showing the cooler areas. Something interesting to note is that the researchers pointed out that the region in which the magma flow was detected was also one of the regions that was hit by various earthquakes. Back in late 2020, Yellowstone officials said that 125 earthquakes had hit the region in less than one week, with scientists further saying that these earthquakes hit a region that's already weakened by years of magmatic activity. The earthquake tore through the region in most of September, with officials saying that they recorded 125 tremors, most of which were detected southeast of West Thumb in Yellowstone National Park. This has caused some to panic though, as it's thought the supervolcano could be due for an eruption, as the last time it erupted was over 640,000 years ago. Although some joked and said that the Yellowstone supervolcano erupting could be the final boss of 2021, the reality is if this supervolcano was to erupt it would cause irreversible damage. Recently, University of Utah's Robert Smith made an interesting discovery saying that he noticed a change in the water levels at Yellowstone Lake. Whenever there's these types of changes, it's always important for further tests to be carried out. Geologist Dr. Robert Christensen then revealed the discovery during a documentary. He said the following, One of the most interesting additional pieces of data came along after the early fieldwork and the completion of the initial geologic studies. Bob Smith at the University of Utah was interested in seeing if we could look for signs of contemporary deformation in the Yellowstone caldera. He had recognized some of these indications, particularly in changes in lake levels of different parts of Yellowstone Lake, and because it's so large, he felt there were indications that the lake basin itself was being tilted. Because of this, the lake level was rising at one end of the lake and falling at the other end. End quote. Dr. Christensen explained how his colleagues made the discovery, going on to say the following. He was interested in seeing whether we could actually measure this by some direct means. So one of the things I did at the time was to get funding together to get the USGS Topography Division involved. We felt that with as much deformation as there appeared to be, that there should be measurable changes and elevations in the park. We finally got the funding together and got that survey done, and the data was provided to Bob Smith and his group, and they in turn integrated it into a series of elevation changes throughout the caldera. They demonstrated that the caldera over a 50 year period in time had come up around two thirds of a meter. Either the magma was intruding the crust or was heating the hydrothermal system, causing it to expand and elevate the crust. Something was going on. End quote. Another interesting discovery was made back in 2019, when researchers said that a 465 mile long piece of molten rock is rising directly underneath Yellowstone. Scientists had this to say, 
We are closely monitoring a 465 mile long piece of molten rock rising below the Yellowstone caldera. We have discovered that Yellowstone's magma chamber is slowly rising each year. The danger will be if the plumes start liquefying and moving up faster. Typically when these eruptions begin, they begin from a certain event, then they get larger as they move along the fracture system. The entire sequence that formed the last Yellowstone eruption may have taken as little as two weeks. End quote. Another thing to note is that it's not only Yellowstone where activity is picked up. Seismologists and volcanologists have noticed that the world's volcanic activity has dramatically increased in recent years. Volcanoes from all around the world are erupting faster and more frequently than ever. On top of this, earthquakes are also on the rise. So why is this happening? As of right now, researchers have said there isn't a concrete answer, and that more studies need to be carried out. Data has shown us that in the 20th century alone, there were over 3,500 volcanic eruptions. That works out as around 30 eruptions per year. Not only this, but earthquakes are also on the rise. In 2018 alone, there was over 14,000 earthquakes, and researchers and scientists have suggested that the world could be preparing for some kind of world-changing megatremor. If this does happen, it's said it will have the power to split up continents. As you can imagine, when this news got released, people started to ask questions. One of them being, when is Yellowstone going to erupt next? Seismologists have said if there was an eruption at Yellowstone, there would be mass destruction. They also stated that this supervolcano will erupt again. However, the likelihood of the volcano erupting anytime soon is very slim. In fact, the US Geological Survey seismologists are among those monitoring the site, and said that locals in the region would have lots of warning before anything happened. In fact, it's thought we would have over a decade's notice before the volcano erupted. Yellowstone is the volcano that everyone focuses on because it's one of the biggest, and would cause the most destruction. If it did erupt, the effects would be felt across the world. So what do you make of this most recent discovery at the Yellowstone National Park? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.